Are you guys like me? How many fucking buttons do you have to shut off before the fucking TV's off? Off. Off, off. Menu off, off. Menu. Guide off. Can I help you with something? Is there something you're trying to do? Um, anyway, uh, I've been watching NBA, all of that shit. You guys watching that shit? The series is all tied up in what? Um, I actually had a great realization in, uh, in game two is that I just don't, I just don't give a fuck about the pro game. I'm just not into it. (laughs) I just, I am not built to watch an NBA playoff game that my team is in. Win or lose, I'm just emotionally, I'm not mature enough. I have kids. I just, I can't do it. So I, I, like every fucking year, like going all the way back to Dennis Rodman, there's these guys in the league that deliberately get tangled up with other players and then they act like they're trying to get up off the floor as they're sort of semi like hitting the guy in the head. And then the announcer's always like, you know, let's take a look. at. I don't see any sort of flagrant. I don't think that was on purpose. Uh, he was trying to defend himself. Let's get the fuck. It's, it's like, did you not have an older brother? Older brothers know how to do that shit. They fucking act like they lose their balance. Whoa. And they land on you. And as they go to get up, they push off the, your head instead of the floor. I mean, did you? Did you <laughs> Were there no older kids in your neighborhood? This is like classic shit. And they just... Never fucking call it. And I just, I, I can't, I, I can't fucking do it. I got kids, so I'm not doing it. All right. I hope the Celtics win, but I am, uh, I am not like, there's just something about the NBA that I don't know what it is about the fucking game. Um, other than that, I really think that it's like massaged or whatever. Like there was no doubt tonight. I'm like, the Warriors are going to win tonight. Whether they win or not, they're going to win tonight. They have to win. They can't be down 0-2. The casual fan's going to shut it off. The NBA's not going to have that. And I know this sounds like conspiracy. And I don't think that the referees gave us the game. I thought they played great. But even if they didn't, even if they didn't, they were going to win tonight. And I, you cannot convince me otherwise. <laughs> I just, I'm not, uh, this is the only fucking sport that I am 100%, if I had to fucking put my all of my money on manipulated or not manipulated, this is the sport that I would 100% do it. Which is a fucking shame, too, because I got to tell you something. As much as the Warriors were kicking our ass in that first game, in the first half, I was, as, as a fan of sports, was 100% still enjoying the game because Steph Curry is like the greatest shooter of all time. So, um... You know, and I've never been that like, like I never hated Derek Jeter. I just can't, I can't like, I mean, I'll tease the guy, whatever. Made fun of that fucking shit he used to do to try to get a, you know, a strike to become a ball or whatever that I did on the Red Sox thing. But I I fucking love that guy. I hate that he played for the Yankees, but like, I I never take it to that level. But um, I don't know, just, I don't know what it is about the NBA. The fans, that fucking douche tonight. I think Steph Curry hit a three-pointer and they cut to the crowd and there's some guy miming shooting a bow and arrow. (laughs) Oh, he played like the Miami Heat. They cut they cut to the crowd after Miami scored like, you know, eight nothing run or something. They cut to the crowd and there's some kid with this giant stupid chain on, and he's like nodding his head as fast as he can as he's jumping up and down, like like I in no other sport. Did the fans act like they just scored, um, like NBA fans? And I don't, I, I'm, I don't think they like that in the upper deck. I just feel like there's a certain level of douche that, I, I don't know, that you have to be to sit in the lower bowl at a fucking NBA game. Um, anyway, but Mark Jackson was in a rare form. You know, Steph Curry wide open for a three, and he'd be like, I'll tell you right now, that was just terrible defense by the Boston Celtics. You cannot leave a man like Steph Curry that wide open. If you do, that's a very easy way to go down 1-0 in the NBA Finals. And then remember uh, Robert fucking Griffin III is like out by the three-point arc. The guy's like fucking 6'10 or something covering uh, Steph Curry. And Steph Curry just, pull, you know, he gave him a little cushion. Steph Curry pulls up and he hits it. Once again, Mark Jackson. You mean you just cannot give a player like that that amount of space? It's like, 
Mark, he's the greatest shooter of all time. It doesn't matter. This guy's 6'10". What the fuck is he supposed to do? Is he supposed to go out and try to fucking put his dick on his leg? He's just going to go around him and fucking lay it up. I mean, it's Steph Curry. He's going to get 30. <laughs> it, just, it, it is what it is. If you're the Boston Celtics, enjoy this victory, but know the series is not over. If you're Golden State, learn from your mistakes and move on to game two. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> what do the Boston Celtics need to do right now? Execute. Um, but I swear to God, like that fucking Draymond Green. I mean, how many times can he accidentally fall on somebody? And as he's trying to get up, be kicking them in the chest or in the head accidentally. Like, you know, it's not like, you know, enough to make the guy hurt, but just that bullshit. Um, and then they sit there go, I don't know. Are they try, is he trying to get up? I don't know. Fuck it. Uh. <laughs> They grab Ja Rule's kneecap and just pull. Uh, did he confuse the ball with his patella? I, I, don't, I don't understand. It's like, am I watching wrestling? Because um, these are neutral announcers. That's what I don't like. It's like you're neutral. I understand a homer. Like when I watch the Washington Capitals feed, they never think, t- you know, Wilson does anything wrong. I watch the Bruins feed. They don't think our guys ever do. I get that. But like this is supposed to be like a national fucking broadcast. Um I don't know. Did he, you know, was, is kicking somebody in the balls a natural follow through of his jump shot? I, I have no idea. Um, if you go into the bathroom, a public bathroom to take a piss and someone is already in there shitting, hold your breath, take out your dick and execute. I want Mark Jackson advice in everyday life. If you're driving down the street and your cell phone falls between your seat and your center console, learn from your mistake and continue driving. Thank you, Mark. That was that was riveting insight. Um, Yeah, I think I I, I've got to be honest with you. I just think with my temperament and I have kids, I just really think that I'm not a playoff guy anymore. Uh, I probably never was. I just didn't have little people that are influenced by my behavior. So I think what I'm going to be a regular season guy. You know, I'm going to watch game number 43 of an 82-game season and just sit down. Hey, they win it, they lose it. I don't give a fuck. Um, You know what I mean? You know what it's like to be sitting there playing Candyland with your daughter as you got one, like, eye on the screen trying not to be, like, you know, like, losing your mind. Like, come on, man, play defense and all of this shit. Anyways, I know it's going to to be a uh, a great series. Interesting matchup. Celtics are really young. Golden State, uh, very experienced in all of that. So I don't know. I'll be honest with you. After two games, I don't know which way it's going to go. I hope the Celtics win, but I have to be honest with you. I, I am. <laughs> I, think I'm, I think I'm too old to watch my team in the NBA finals. I don't think I can fucking handle it. And I love my kids more than I need to watch this shit. So I'm going to just sort of have it on in the background as I'm playing Connect Four and shit. And I'm going to dip in, get some fucking NBA analysis, you know, and, 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 you know, and then just go back, back in. I think that's the way I'm going to do it. Um, Because other than that, what am am I doing? My kids don't understand. And I want them to like sports. Um, Speaking of sports, I went to the uh, Dodgers, Mets. But before I, before I, I, I I move on, I, I do want to say what a fucking, once again, what a pleasure it is to watch fucking Steph Curry play. I mean, that guy is fucking amazing. Fucking amazing, amazing player. And I'm like Mark Jackson. I'm stating the obvious, but like, there was a while ago, I think this guy might be the greatest shooter of all time. He is, just like without a doubt. I mean, that guy, the second he gets over the half court line, you know, I never seen the guy five, if he's five feet, in, I remember in game one, he had the ball at the end of a quarter and like threw it the length of the court, and I actually expected it to go in. (laughs) Hey, I'm telling you, the kid can shoot. Let me explain this away. Um, I'm actually really proud of myself that I actually got up and walked away from that game. You know, I I really am. You know, it wasn't going to change. I knew the Warriors were going to win tonight. I'm like, they're too good a fucking team. They're not going to go down 0-2. This just isn't going to happen. So just fucking just walk away from it before you get your conspiracy theory going. And, 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 and all of this shit. And I, I kind of did. And uh, I think I need to do that more. Because as everyone in my life has told me, I don't 
possess the emotional maturity <laughs> and i don't it's fucking true 